Good evening. At least 45 worshippers have been killed in a horror bus accident on the mountain pass between Mokopane and Marken in Limpopo. The bus lost control and fell off a bridge and caught fire. An eight-year-old child was seriously injured and has been airlifted to hospital. The pilgrims were travelling from Botswana to Moria outside of Bolokwane. Transport Minister Sindisiwe Chikunga was among the first to arrive at the crash site and ex has expressed deep sadness at what she witnessed. A senior reporter Pimani Baloi spoke to the minister at the scene. We were actually inspecting the N1 <laughs> because we're expecting that Traffic volumes will increase as people will be heading to the church in Moria, but also back home to Limpopo. And we received the news that there's been a bus accident, and we therefore decided that we proceed to where the accident has happened. Arriving here, we were told that a bus uh, that was pulling a trailer uh, went over the bridge down into the Rocky River and it had about uh, 45 occupants. Only one eight-year-old girl survived and she's been trans she, she was transported to the hospital. A lady was airlifted but could not make it and therefore the numbers that we have are that there were 44 people who actually perished in this accident. They are scattered <coughs> down in the in the in the river but also in the forest and others are still trapped into the bus. Uh, the bus caught fire um, and I want to believe that those that are, that are trapped into the bus also have been bent. Uh, the extent of that we still do not know because they're still trapped into the bus. Uh, these were people that were traveling from uh, Gaboron uh, in, in, in um, what is this place, Botswana to the church Moria and 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 they took this route. I think maybe maybe they were avoiding the N1 uh, for reasons that it might be busy. It's it's a it's 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 a mountainous road with sharp curves. Um, the, the message that we send to our travelers, particularly those that are using buses and taxis, is that they also have to choose routes, as we said when we're launching uh, our Easter weekend road safety, that it is important that they also try by all means to choose routes that are safer and probably better and fit for a, a, a public transport such as a bus. Um, I don't know as to what happened here, but it would seem like the driver might have lost control of the bus and what would have caused that, we still do not know. So we'll actually await the investigation. And as part of the 2024 Easter Road Safety Campaign, Minister of Transport Cindy Siwe Chikunga was part of the contingent of authorities at the Grand Scorp Toll Plaza in Limpopo monitoring adherence to road safety rules. And the Minister joins us now via our video link for more on this discussion. Minister, thank you so much for your time this evening here in SABC News. I mean, let's start off uh, with, uh, you know, that breaking news coming out of Limpopo. 45 lives are being lost. I mean, you you were there and you witnessed and you saw uh, the ramifications of that accident. Let's start off there. How horrific is this accident? Thank you very much, Mbali, for having us. Let me start by extending our sincere condolences to the families of the deceased, but also to the people in the government of, of Botswana for losing so many lives in our country. Indeed, uh, we were there, we saw what actually happened. Initially, it was like there were 45 people and therefore 44 people had, uh, had died. But we were then corrected later because we were the, the police were actually phoning uh, Botswana, the owner of the bus, who initially said there were 45 people, hence the 44 uh, number. However, later he said it's 45 passengers and one driver. And therefore, if it is only one eight-year-old girl who survived, it means that 45 people perished. I must indicate that at the time when we were there, the people were still trapped in the bus. And because the bus caught fire, it therefore means that even the people that were trapped in the bus must have been bent. Maybe, I don't know the extent of that. 
but other other bodies were scattered around the river in the bush there. It is a very tall a bridge about 50 meters down and and you'd imagine that when the bus was actually flying down uh, through the no, its nose it actually means that those that were sitting at the back must have actually been thrown in front in front and that is why they would have died in the manner in which they died we have not seen the extent of their injuries because like i say it's very difficult to reach at the place where the bus is but we tried our our best to come closer. What what I saw the the bus in Bali, the, I mean I mean the the road itself is in good condition. It's got good markings, but the area is mountainous and therefore the road is winding. It's got very sharp curves. I mean I mean sharp bends. If you want your happy bends, they are there. You wouldn't advise anyone who is driving a heavy vehicle such as a truck or even a bus even a minibus for that matter to use that that road and that is why when we're launching the road safety at the beginning i mean i mean last i mean two weeks ago we said it is also important to choose a better route if that accident had not happened say there was something wrong with the brakes i'm just making an example i don't want to, 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 I'm not saying it was the brakes that were a problem. But even if the accident may not have happened where it happened, it was still going to happen because it's a sharp curve and it is along the mountain. So when you finish the other curve, there's another one and it is a very, uh, 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 like I'm saying, it's, 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 it's just a road that you would want mm. to see. Uh, 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 it's steep, let me say that. Yeah. So we 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 begging our yeah. people to please do that. Just on my way from the from the airport, there is another accident now here in Southern. Somebody was actually crossing the freeway with four lanes, and 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 then it became a hit and run. There it's pieces all over the road. Um, you can't even see where the head is. We please beg in South Africans to please observe the rules of the road. You cannot cross the road walking as a pedestrian. On where, where you, there are four lanes and the roads are so busy. Yeah, it, it's an invitation. It's yeah. a problem. Mm. And Minister, staying uh, with uh, mm. the bus crash uh, in uh, Limpopo, I just want to find out from you, have you reached out to uh, the Botswana government and uh, when can we see the identification process of uh, the bodies uh, being conducted? When we were there, there were pathologists. Like I say, it's very difficult to reach out to where the, the bodies are. And, and therefore they arrived at the time. Remember the accident actually had happened at about half past or 20 past 11. But even at around after four, the this, this bodies were still not fresh because it's not easy to reach out. Like I'm saying, it's, it's, they, 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 they are rocks, uh, they, there's a, a small river, it's, it's also a forestry area and it's far. So you've got just to go down and go deep. Even ourselves, we could not come very close to the bus, even if you wanted to do that. So to get the body, to get in whatever that it is there, it's very easy. But when we were leaving, the, the, pathologist, the pathologists were already there with the aim of picking up and, and fetching the bodies so that at least they can go to mortuaries. We actually definitely will be talking to the Minister of Derko and Derko as well, so that through diplomatic channels we can inform the government of 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 of, of Botswana about this tragic uh, uh, accident. Uh, what then happens after that? I think that will be yeah. explained. I imagine that there will be a need for DNA uh, 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 because the people I want to believe, if you look at how the bus is 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 bent. If there are people, in fact, there are people inside, it's very possible that they are bent beyond recognition. Mm. What the police said to us is that they were even to know the numbers, ultimately to say these are the correct numbers, then of course they would have to try and count heads because maybe they will not be able to, to actually see the, 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 the flesh itself. Mm.
And Minister, what does an accident like this uh, mean, especially during a time when you are running uh, a road safety campaign during uh, the Easter long weekend? And to see uh, an, an accident like this, what would you say that it means uh, for South Africans and, you know, the greater community at large? It means that you have got to be careful. Um, and if you may, if the chosen N1, maybe we would not be talking about the accident. Um, we would not be talking about this loss of life. If they just chosen N1, because as a matter of fact, some way they had to choose as to whether they take that R518 or N1. If they chosen N1 and probably be ready to pay the tolls, if they are tolls, they would not have actually uh, been involved in such an accident. And therefore, I'm saying there are things that we can do, such as choosing the time for traveling, such as resting after driving for two hours, such as not speeding, as we always talk about this. The roads are very busy. You can't be drinking when you are going to be on the road. They are all very busy. Traffic volumes are increasing even at this hour of the day. They are increasing. They cannot be in any way any person who thinks that they can or he can drive when the road and um, under the influence of alcohol when everybody is under the road and everybody is, is is driving you can't speed and we need just to be patient with one another yeah. the traffic officers are there we saw them as we're inspecting and monitoring the road they are still there even now even with this hit and run that i'm talking about our gantries are going to help us now to pick up that car that is responsible for that for that for that accident that 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 pedestrian was hit by the car because even if a person the pedestrian may have been wrong let me stay focus for let me say for for instance but when the accident happens you have got to stop if you think that maybe you may be attacked by people then you have got to to drive to the nearest police station and report that accident because of course there is life that has been lost. So we beg South Africans, please abide by the rules of the road, please, yeah. because we will not be, yes, we are on the road, but ultimately it is yourself who is driving and it is yourself who must do the right thing. Mm. And Minister, just to wrap up this conversation briefly, what are your plans as the transport department, especially looking into uh, this Easter long weekend? Will we be seeing more traffic officials being deployed alongside the police to ensure uh, that uh, motorists uh, will be safe uh, on the roads? Indeed, they are, like I've said, they are already on the road. They are working together with the police, the traffic officers, we saw them on the N1 because we were actually monitoring the N1, they are there. And then, of course, we expect that the traffic volumes will decrease tomorrow because many people will have arrived. We will therefore remove our resources to residential areas because last year, for instance, 43% of fatalities were pedestrians and therefore we we'll want to go to residential areas and ensure that pedestrians too use roads responsible, responsibly and so that we can actually avoid all those uh, 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 accidents between vehicles and of course uh, motor vehicles and pedestrians. So yes, we'll be moving to where there the, 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 is potential of accidents, but also we'll be going to towns as well because many of other accidents happened uh, in towns and cities, uh, in malls and so on. But more than anything, we will never have all the required resources yeah. and that is why our people are our resources they've got to take that responsibility themselves and be safe minister thank and you so much size also the issue of battling up you know some of the accidents when they happen you think that if maybe people were battling up or battled up maybe they could have been saved. Yeah. I just want to make that point again. Please, yeah. let's battle up. Minister, thank you so much uh, for your time once again and for that update um, in concern to that accident in Limpopo. That is uh, Transport Minister Cindy Siwe Chikunga just giving us an update when it comes uh, to that very sad and horrific uh, accident coming out from Limpopo.